Hello everybody and welcome back to WoW Classic. Robert Rambles here and thank you so much for joining me today. We are in Desolus and we are going to spend some time killing Centaur today while we talk about a few things. Uh, I want to talk briefly about my plans for Shadowlands and also about what's been going on with the lack of videos over the last few days. Uh, really sorry about that. I've had a lot of strenuous goings on in real life that have just been really draining and I just haven't had the energy or time to get on here and play like I want to. So sorry about that. Hopefully soon here uploads will continue at their normal pace. Um, I'm also starting a new job for the second time in two years, whereas before that, I had worked at the same company for a decade, so it's a, always a little bit of an adjustment, uh, but it's a necessary one for right now. Um, over this last year that we've been playing Classic together, it's been really great to be able to share the world of Azeroth with you guys, and to have this place to retreat to when I need to recharge my batteries. And it's really been your support and your guys' words that have made this journey happen. I honestly don't think I would be here right now in Classic, enjoying this game, without your guys' support. So I want to say thank you so much for that. You, you don't know how much it means to me. Uh, that journey in, in Classic is going to continue. I don't think it has a, an end date. I don't think it has a time when it comes to a final conclusion. Um, as long as we're having fun and we're enjoying the game, um, which you could see as part of that, we've respect back to discipline spec. So if you watch the video where we tried Shadow, probably kind of got the idea that it didn't really sync up with my play style, and I got that idea as well. And thank you to those who also kind of reinforced that for me in the comments, who can see that it wasn't really something that was for me, despite its inherent strengths or weaknesses. We are going to be disciplined spec now. I'll let you guys see here what I did with the talents. I think it was almost the same as what we had for talents before. But uh, if you want to take a look there. And then of course we have five points in spirit tap. Um, so all that being said, um, you know, we're going to keep playing classic. The uploads should be regular, as as regular, as daily as they can be, is, is what I'll make them. And so, but most of you know the biggest reason that I love World of Warcraft is the lore, all the stories, and just the great world building that Blizzard has done over the last 15 years to really grow the game. And as we're approaching October, I am just keep having this thought that I wouldn't be doing right by myself as a player or as a fan, or even doing right by you guys if I didn't plan to invest some time playing in Shadowlands and seeing the continuation of the story of the universe that we all love so much. So that is something that I will be doing on this channel. I will be playing Shadowlands. Despite any mechanical or system related issues that I might have with the game, I'm incredibly excited to get back into modern World of Warcraft and to benefit from all the growth that the game has experienced uh, over the last 15 years. So as part of that, when the pre-patch comes out, which is going to be the 9.0 patch that precedes the expansion, when that comes out, which everyone's thinking it's going to be around the 29th of September, I'm planning to level a character through the revised leveling experience. And so if you're not familiar with what they're doing with the leveling experience for Shadowlands and for the pre-patch, check it out. Basically, there's been a level squish down from 120 level cap down to 60. Once you finish Shadowlands, you would be level 60, uh, which means you're going in at level 50. And the level 1 to 50 experience has been revised. You can basically pick which expansion you want to level through from, from level 10 to level 50. And so I will definitely be doing that and checking that out. We're going to be leveling through the Wrath of the Lich King expansion. Just because some of the Wrath of the Lich King lore and some of the lore about the Lich King and about Ice Crown Citadel, that might become pertinent and related to some lore that we find in the Shadowlands. So I'm excited to get into that. 
And whichever character we play through this new leveling experience, that's the character that I plan to take into Shadowlands with you guys. So what I, I'm kind of looking for is some feedback on the class and race combination that you would like to see. And I've narrowed it down to about three different possibilities. So we can actually take a look at those and then you guys can give me some feedback. I, I'd really love to hear what you think and whose story you would like to see in the Shadowlands expansion. So this is the public test realms. Let's just go into the create a character screen and I'll walk you guys through a few of the things I was thinking for possible class race combinations for the Shadowlands. Um, and these are not in order of, of my um, desire to play them. So the first thing I was thinking about was possibly a Dwarf Shaman. And we can take a look at some of the different customization options here that really make these guys look very cool. So that's one of the classes I was thinking about. Uh, as a shaman, I feel like the best thing would be that we can do ranged or melee DPS, and of course we can heal. Let's go ahead and turn the music down just a little bit. But you can see that they've revised the opening screen and the opening music, and it's very cool. And let's take a look here. The other class I was considering was a druid which would likely be a Night Elf Druid. You can see some of the new features that they have, some of the new customization options here. Very cool looking. As a Druid, same thing with the Shaman, we'd have our choice of either ranged or melee DPS, and we could tank or heal. And I like having that kind of versatility in the in the classes that I play to be able to fill multiple roles. And I just feel like that helps you in a group environment. Uh, if the group needs something, you can fill it and you can become really useful that way. It's a good way to uh, find groups in the game for higher level content. And then of course, the last thing I was considering of the three, well not the last, but the third, would be a priest. Uh, and if we went priest, it would most likely be a disciplined priest. But we'd have the option uh, to DPS as shadow if we wanted, or to heal as either dis or holy. So that's kind of what I was thinking about. Uh, it, it doesn't mean that I'm not open to other ideas. But I do like being able to fill multiple roles in a group, and when it comes to raiding, I am going to heal. So that's basically where I feel most at home. I've been healing in raids since Wrath of the Lich King. Um, it's what I enjoy at the endgame content, so that is that. It's, it's basically between Shaman, Priest, or Druid. And I'd love to know what you guys think, or if you have any other ideas that are kind of outside of that. And I'm pretty sure we'll be playing on Alliance. Alright, back to the Centaur Slaying. So let those class race choices stew in your guys' head for a while. If you have any ideas, you know, with those classes, but with other race combinations, I'd love to hear your thoughts and why. But yeah, that, that, whatever we decide, that leveling journey will start as soon as the pre-patch opens up, which, like I said, everyone's kind of thinking that's going to be on the 29th of September, giving us some time to level a character or two before Shadowlands launches on the 27th of October.
And I'm pretty sure I want to play on Alliance. Not that it really matters as much in this expansion, possibly, as other expansions. The realm I'll be on will be Zul'jin. So I did a little bit of reading about these Centaur, and basically the Magrim are just easier to deal with. And I guess the density and availability of them to fight is greater than the Gelkis. So I just kind of made my way over here uh, as something we could do because we're once again kind of at a point here on the Priest where besides a bunch of elite quests that I still need to do, yeah, that would be great, wouldn't it? They stay yellow for a long time. Uh, besides a bunch of elite quests, we don't have too many quests that we can do solo uh, besides stuff here in Desolus, and that's going to start with picking a faction. Um, either Gelkis or Mag Magrum, so this time we're going to be going with Gelkis. And if you guys are excited for Shadowlands and you haven't yet watched the four short films, the short animated Afterlives videos that Blizzard just put out, might be a really good idea to check out the, uh, the channel and watch those videos because they give you a lot of insight into the world of the Shadowlands and into some characters that we're no doubt going to meet while we're traveling through the Shadowlands. Maybe we should work our way in and investigate the village more since uh, there's not anything exciting going on out here and basically all we have to do for this quest, and I won't be doing it all in this video, is we need to just fight them until our rep bar. Um, basically until they hate us and the other guys like us. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, see, this is the one we're tracking. We'll put that down here so we can take a look. And they'll, the Magrim will start to hate us more and more as we slaughter them, I guess you could say. Makes sense. Thinking that we need to check out the Badlands soon and see if we can do any questing in the Badlands at all. I know it's a popular place to grind, I just don't know if there's an Alliance questing hub there that really offers us any quests. So if you guys happen to know, I would be interested in if I should go to the Badlands and, and look for any questing that we can do out of there. I realize that uh, we're making short work of these guys. We're not even buffed. Um, that'll help a little bit. There we go. But obviously not totally necessary, I suppose. Yeah, I'm just enjoying being back on discipline. Um, we didn't stay shadow for very long, that's true. Uh, but it really wasn't the play style that I, I want. I've just gotten so used to this play style and it's, it's very enjoyable, so...
Yeah, that's why part of me really wants to try a priest in Shadowlands and to see how it compares. Obviously, it's going to be incredibly different, um, even if we go discipline. But I would still be really interested to find out if it's still something that I, I like a lot because of all the classes that we've tried in WoW Classic, Discipline Priest has been my favorite. I mean, that's probably obvious just from the amount of videos uh, that we've done on it compared to basically all other characters, maybe besides the warrior. But even that, we, we are getting pretty close to eclipsing that as well. And the warrior was a lot of fun. Uh, but this has been more enjoyable in different ways for different reasons. And I'm really curious how that would play out in modern World of Warcraft. At the same time, I'd also be really interested in learning something totally new, like a shaman or a druid, so it's a really hard decision, and I'm looking forward to hearing all your thoughts about that. Ooh, what is that? Headhunter's Armor of Stamina. A leather gear, 14 stamina. I feel like it's a good thing we're doing this quest now because in a couple more levels, maybe one or two more levels, these guys would have been gray for us and maybe the quest would have been gray as well, I'm not sure. But you can see we're slowly, slowly inching along our reputation bar, so this is a quest that takes quite a while. It's possible that I'll get to level 42 and maybe even get another half a level out of it. I don't know if I'll do all of that now. But I suppose if we are going to do these quests, they are going to have to be done soon. Um, and we don't really have a lot of choice in the quests that we do and not do, because we have to do pretty much everything right now uh, to keep our leveling progress going. And that's kind of been one of the difficult things, is, is finding interesting, meaningful things to do uh, in this level range. Um, outside of running dungeons, that's always an option. We could always go back to running some more dungeons, always a good time. And hopefully I'll have the evening time available for some of that soon. Oftentimes I play in the mornings and it's sometimes hard to find groups for things at the times that I play. And love it or hate it, that is something that looking for group finder will, will solve for me in, in Shadowlands. Some people think that it ruins the social dynamic of the game. I think that people, just humans, can ruin the social dynamic of games, and it doesn't really matter how you find those people. Um, they could still do it. There's a very little chance that you're going to encounter somebody who's a complete troll. Whether you're in looking for group, or, you know, searching through a channel. And to me, what looking for group finder means is it means even if it's 9 a.m. Eastern time, I will be able to eventually find a group for the content that I want to do. And that's a lot more important to me, honestly, as I think it might be to a lot of people. Even when they get that heal off, I, I barely notice. When they're such a low level, it's it's not really impactful because we're just dealing so much damage to them.
That's a long net. There we go. And there's level 42, guys. Let's take a look at our talents here and see what we are working on. I guess we're going to keep going into Force of Will. This is just going to keep increasing our spell damage by a flat percentage. And it's also increasing the critical strike chance of our spells. So just their chance to crit and their damage, which is really huge. So we're going to keep going into that. We'll take all, all five points in that before we think about doing anything else. But yeah, so any thoughts on the talent layout here? As far as future talents that we should grab, I would be open to hearing about that. And again, if you guys have any time to put some thought into what character you'd like to see us play in the Shadowlands, we're going to do the leveling experience through Wrath of the Lich King. That's looking like it's going to start on September 29th when the 9.0 pre-patch is supposed to start. I say supposed to, but obviously there's no release date for the pre-patch. Everyone is just thinking based on the build that's on the PTR and how long it is till Shadowlands comes out that the 9.0 patch will drop on the 29th of September. And as soon as that happens, we will be picking a class to level through the new experience, taking it through Wrath of the Lich King, and inevitably into the Shadowlands for the new expansion on October 27th. So let me know what you guys think. I'm really excited to hear from you. And yeah, in the meantime, I'm hoping to be back to regular uploads of The Priest. So hopefully you're looking forward to that as well. As always, thank you guys so much for being here. Like I said earlier, I would not be here today in Azeroth if it, if it weren't for your guys' support. Uh, it would have been a much more shallow and less exciting experience for me for sure. So take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you soon. Bye now.